Hello everyone, you are welcome to how to solve this very nice radical equation. Square root of 8 minus root x is equal to x minus 8. Our job is to find all possible values of x. So, let's start. For real solutions, this 8 minus root x, 8 minus root x must be greater than or equal to 0. This implies that root x must be less than or equal to 8. This implies that x must be less than or equal to 64. This x minus 8, x minus 8 must be greater than or equal to 0. This implies that x must be greater than or equal to 8. If we combine these two, we get the domain of this equation x must be less than or equal to 64 x must be greater than or equal to 8. This is the domain of the equation we use to check the solutions of this equation. Now, let us continue with this original equation. The equation is square root of 8 minus root x is equal to x minus 8. We suppose that this root x, let root x is equal to 8. If we square both sides, this implies that uh, x is equal to a square. So, this equation will become square root of uh, 8 minus a is equal to a squared minus 8. And uh, from here, we take square of uh, both sides. So, this uh, square will be considered with this square root and we are left with 8 minus a is equal to this will become a to the power 4 minus 16 a squared plus 8 squared. Now, we rearrange these terms and move this 8 minus a to the right hand side. This will become 8 squared minus 16 a squared. This positive 8 will become negative 8 at right hand side plus uh, this a to the power 4. This negative a will become plus a at right hand side is equal to 0. Now, this uh, 8 squared can be written as uh, 1 times 8 squared and uh, from these two terms uh, we can factor out negative 8. Negative times uh, 8 as common factor in bracket left 2a squared plus 1 plus this a to the power 4 plus a is equal to 0. Now, this is a quadratic equation in terms of 8. This 1 is as a this negative 2a squared plus 1 is as b and this a to the power 4 plus a is as c. According to quadratic formula, 8 is equal to negative times the value of b is negative 2a squared plus 1 plus or minus square root of in place of b squared, we write negative 2a squared plus 1 whole squared minus 4 times a is 1 times c is a to the power 4 plus a divided by 2 times a is 1. Next, 8 is equal to this negative times negative will become positive 2a squared plus 1 plus minus the square root of. Since the square of a negative number is always positive, so we can remove this negative sign. And this 2a squared plus 1 whole squared will become 4 times a to the power 4 plus 4a squared plus 1. And 4 times 1 times a to the power 4 minus 
4 times a to the power 4 negative 4 times 1 times a negative 4 times a divided by this 2 times 1 will become 2 next 8 is equal to 2a squared plus 1 plus minus square root of this negative 4a to the power 4 will be cancelled out with this positive 4a to the power 4 and we are left with 4a squared minus 4 times a plus 1 divided by 2. Next, 8 is equal to 2a squared plus 1 plus minus a. This is a perfect square, so this will become square root of 2a minus 1 whole squared divided by 2. Next, 8 is equal to 2a squared plus 1 plus minus. This uh, square will be considered with this uh, square root. And uh, here we are left with uh, 2 times a minus 1 divided by 2. From here we get 2 equations. 8 is equal to 2a squared plus 1 plus uh, 2a minus 1 divided by 2. In the second we get uh, 8 is equal to 2a squared plus 1 minus 2a plus 1 divided by 2. From this equation this negative 1 will be considered with this positive 1 and this will become 8 is equal to from these two terms uh, we can factor out 2 in back left uh, a squared plus uh, a divided by 2 and this 2 will be considered with this 2 and we move this 8 to the right hand side this will become a squared plus uh, a minus 8 is equal to 0. Now from this equation 8 is equal to 2a squared. This negative 2a and 1 plus 1 will become plus 2 divided by 2 and 8 is equal to from the numerator we can factor out 2 in back left a squared minus a plus 1 divided by 2. This 2 will be considered with this 2. We move this 8 to the right hand side. This will become a squared minus a plus 1 minus 8 is equal to 0. And this will become a squared minus a minus 7 is equal to 0. Now by solving this quadratic equation we get the value of a is equal to negative 1 plus minus root 33 divided by 2. It means that a is equal to negative 1 plus root 33 over 2 and a is equal to negative 1 minus root 33 divided by 2. And by solving this equation we get the value of a is equal to 1 plus uh, root 29 over 2 in the second 1 minus root 29 over 2. Now recall that we have supposed we have supposed that uh, root x is equal to a. We have supposed that uh, root x is equal to a. Since this uh, root x is uh, greater than 0, so this a must be greater than 0. a must be greater than 0. This value of a negative 1 minus root 33 over 2 is less than 0. So this will be rejected. And this value 1 minus root 29 over 2 is also less than 0 this will also be rejected. Now when a is equal to this value then this equation will become root x is equal to this negative 1 plus root 33 is same as root 33 
minus 1 divided by 2 when a is equal to this value then this equation will become root x is equal to 1 plus root 29 over 2 now from this equation we square both sides so this uh, square will be considered with this square root and we get the value of x is equal to this is root 33 minus 1 whole squared will become root 33 squared minus 2 times uh, root 33 plus uh, 1 divided by 2 squared is 4. And this square will be considered with this square root and 33 plus 1 will become 34 minus 2 times root 33 divided by 4. And this is equal to x. If we further simplify this one, we get the value of x is equal to 17 minus root 33 divided by 2. Now, from this equation, we square both sides of this equation. So, this square will be considered with this square root. And we are left with x is equal to 1 squared is 1 plus 2 times root 29 plus root 29 squared divided by this 2 squared is 4. And this square will be considered with the square root 29 plus 1 will become 30 plus 2 times root 29 divided by 4 and this is equal to x. Further simplify this, this will become x is equal to 15 plus root 29 divided by 2. So, we get uh, two values of x is 17 minus uh, root 33 over 2 and uh, 15 plus uh, root 29 over 2. Now, we use the domain to remove uh, any invalid solution. Domain of the equation is uh, x must be less than or equal to 64 and x must be greater than or equal to 8. Domain of the equation is x must be less than or equal to 64 and x must be greater than or equal to 8. This is 17 minus root 33 over 2 is less than 8. So, this will be rejected. This 15 plus root 29 over 2 is greater than 8 and is less than 64. So, this is the valid solution of this equation.